All right, so um, <laughs> here's the deal right now. You can see uh, SMGS uh, are a bit short on uh, on people at the moment. So we're looking into what kind of implications that has. If they're going to be able to get a sub. And it seems like they do have a sub that's on the way in. So while we are a little bit delayed, we are going to be moving on shortly here. And there we go, so the timer is started, uh, and that means that we'll start seeing some changes. SMGS just got their last member. Also, I should introduce that this, as the title shows, is the Steel Carousel. So not the usual SCS, been a while since I've been streaming at all. But so yeah, basically what's going to happen here is... Even though it looks like we've got these two teams here, we've actually got four different teams and they're going to be rotating, um, facing off uh, each other in different configurations. And whoever can score the most kills throughout all these three matches will be going on to the finals. We just reached the three minute mark. That means 2.30 until lock. So let's just look at some of these ships here. So we've got Oregon ship here. The Beethoven's Groupies. Now the ships are more or less named after the teams. So this, of course, is the Thor's Groupies. And it looks like a carrot. You've got the Carronade, the Artemis, Flamethrower and Flak on the side. Pretty standard stuff. We've got the Chicken Moth here. We've got some Hawatcha. we got a heavy flak on the side here. Really deadly, along with those two Mercury. So a really deadly long range side, along with a Brawler side there with the Hawatcha Gatling and uh, Mortar. Now SMGS sporting a goldfish, a carrowfish with double flamer and a flare on the back. And then the fancy cup of tea um, is a spire 
A Watcher Spire, Double Banshee, and Gatling. Only a little bit of time remaining before the lock here. We have seen some minor changes here. The um, chicken moth changed to a spire, a flak spire, so still a bit of the same setup but with mines and gatling to handle those close range engagements. Right, so the setup time is over, and we are going to be over, uh, entering the game very soon. Teams are already up here. And we are headed into derelict deception. Now I am DKR and I'll be serving as your host today. Uh, I am a bit rusty <laughs> on the uh, Guns of Icarus meta, but I hope that I'll be able to at least impart some insightful commentary on what's about to happen here. Right, so we have loaded in. And we're going to start by taking a look at the Chicken Moth. Now, as we said earlier, it is the Flak Spire with the Mercury on top. We got the Mine Launcher at the bottom and the Gatling on top as well. Piloted by Merwin. Uh, then, we've got the Thor's Groupies sporting a Pyramidian. It is a... Carrot. So, a Carronade and Artemis on top with the Flamer Flak on the side. They didn't change that. Then on the blue team, we've got the Fancy Cup of Tea going with a short-range uh, Spire with a Double Banshee and a Gatling. Last but not least, we've got SMGS sporting a Carafish, Double Flamer, and a Flare on the back. Spot's already out, so we'll take a look here at the engagement. I also really uh, should start uh, a timer. Now, we see a lot of fire here, coming up. Also, a bit of an error here. I've got the old version of the buff kit, meaning that it shows a 20 minute timer. Rest assured, it is a 15 minute timer. Chicken Moth bumping into the Fancy Cup of Tea here. They got a good bit of perma, and it seems like the Thor's Groupies is getting the upper hand on the SMGS there in the back. Fancy Cup of Tea returning some fire, not getting a lot of perma, but getting some disables. Oh 
Ooh! Big slam against the wall by the Thor's Creepies. Now, offensive cup of tea, bit lonely right now. They're not looking too hot. And they take down that ship as well, so two points for Chicken Moth and Thor's group is so far a strong first showing. Barely taking any perma, the Chicken Moth having a bit of scratches. Blue team have spawned in. We'll see what they're up to. Fancy Cup of Tea seems to be planning to go low. That is understandable. They do want to get under the arcs of those Mercury field guns. And they might actually go under undetected. Will they be able to sneak up? That could be devastating for the red team. SMGS though, taking a beating, and they need to be fast. Here comes the Spire. Oh, and the Chicken Moth bumps. Let's see, Gatling, can they get the Perma? Can they get the Explosive in? They get some, they get a Ram, and that's it. Strong showing, really good sneaky beaky there getting under the radar of the red team. Now, Chicken Moth trying to salvage the situation to the best of their ability here, trying to get under the Gatling fire, absorbing most of it with the balloon. And they're in a bit of a tight spot, so we'll see if they can do anything with this. Now they got the fish on them, I'd say they're pretty much done for in this situation. Oh, and the mine goes out and they accidentally mine themselves. They are, however, still alive, but that's the ground. And that's not good for them. But we'll see. Red Team Ally is in here. Thor's Groupies trying to get the fancy cup of tea. And the Chicken Moth somehow still alive, but they are on the ground. Not a place you want to be when fighting a carafish. Hands of tea getting the upper hand against the Thor's groupies, not really what they wanted. However, we see mine hits on the fish. But the chicken moth hole getting lower, getting lower. They don't have a lot of perma left. And we see 13, 14, 15 stacks of fire on that hole. That is a brittle ship at the moment. But the Force Group is coming down there now to try and help with the SMGS. Fancy Cup of Tea having a bit of trouble catching up. However, just one of those Banshees on the Chicken Moth and they're done for. Oh! Look at them go! That is Grand PP, Pixel Perma, as we say. And the Thor's group is in a really troubled spot here. They go down. Now Chicken Moth, probably in the worst situation you could be. However, they do have that hold break on the Fancy Cup of Tea. Can they get those flak hits in? There's one. However, they got the hole up. I think we're rooting for a bit of underdog action here. Get those flaks out.
Uh, and they finally go down. However, they did defy all expectations for the last two to three minutes there. So two, three. Got eight minutes left. And honestly, could go either way here. Now, red team have spawned in. They should know that the fancy cup of tea is weak, at least in the third stage. And being a spire, I mean, it doesn't take too much to break that hole, even though it repairs quickly. Doing some careful firing at range here, being a bit more cautious. And seeing what happened before, it might be in red team's best interest to keep an eye on that spire and not allow them to sneak up the way they did before. Oh! That must have been a grand flat hit. I blinked and I missed it. That goes for a 3-3 then. They're both turning, they're getting some perm on the Thor's groupies, but the chicken moth is now on the fancy cup of tea. Will they get the flak hit? There we go! Grand hit. Alright, so 4-3 in, in favour of Chicken Moth and Thor's groupies. We see the blue team spawn in there in the further reach. Not too many options on this map, however. And we'll see how they will approach, because one more kill from red team, and with that flak, it can happen so incredibly quickly, like we saw with SMGS there. Let's head over and check out what the uh, blue team is thinking. Now, they got a bit of time left here. As mentioned, the match will end at five minutes due to technical limitations. On my end. SMGS spotted. However, that might be what the blue team wants. Drag the attention to the goldfish while the Spire sneaks in. However, Grand <laughs> Flack hit again! That's not what they wanted. I can tell you that much. Now, more than half of their perm are gone in an instant. That would leave one very nervous goldfish, and the Fancy Cup of Tea is struggling to get into the engagement here now. I imagine they needed a very swift change of plans. Flamers are going out. They got the pop on the SMGS. And it looks like the Thor's Groupies is in a good position here. Oh! And big flag hit on the Spire seals the deal. Means that Chicken Moth and Thor's Groupies take home five points each.
Right, uh, now a bit of changing here. I am roughing while streaming, so bear with me as I make sure that everything goes as it should. It looks like the players have read up on the um, on the lobby info. So now we've got the Chicken Moth and Fancy Cup of Tea versus Thor's Groupies and SMGS. And bear with me here. All right, so the timer is once again started. And we'll be doing this match on the Thornhart Throwdown. Sorry if I seem a bit vacant. But yes, the timer is ticking, so... While we're waiting, why don't we take a sneak peek at some of the ships here? Uh, we got the fancy cup of tea. Right now with the Pyramidian. Gatling and... Uh, <laughs> God, I forget the names. Carronade. Then we've got the carousel on the side, along with a flare gun. SMGS still sporting the same goldfish. We'll see if they can get that last crew member here in time. Hopefully they do. We're all for interest in matches here. Now, Chicken Moth showing off the same Magne that we saw before with the Brawler side and the double Mercury Field Gun Flak side. And Thor's Groupies now showing off a Stormbreaker. And another Stormbreaker. <laughs> Not sponsored.
Chicken Moth Spire changing to some kind of short range configuration. Carinade Artemis, Flamer, and Banshees. Lobber timer ever ticking down. We're almost to the ship lock. Jolly Soulfire, welcome. You've been wanting to see the game again? I can tell you, the community is quite lively. So I recommend you go and check out the uh, Discord if you're interested. There's a lot going on. This currently here is a bit of a tournament with rotating teams. And we're about to head into a new match. And there we go. We're headed in to Thornhub Throwdown. A map famous for enabling the merry-go-round. Where players have trouble finding each other. So, we'll start out with the teams here. We got the Chicken Moth and they kept with the Carinade Spire we saw. With the Artemis and Banshee on top. Got a Flamer on the bottom, piloted by Mervyn. Then you got the fancy cup of tea, another Carinade Spire, piloted by Daniel. We've got a Gatling on top along with a Banshee, and another Banshee. Looking over at the blue team, we've got the Leon's Groupies. Thor's Groupies, they've just forgotten to change the name of their ship. Piloted by Autogon. Now you got the Carinade on the side along with a Flamer. On the other side you got a Carinade Watcher and a Hawatcher on the front. Along with a Mine Launcher on the rear there. Spots are already out but we're gonna take the time to check out the SMGS as well. It's the Fish piloted by Setness. Carinade on the front. We need to start the timer. Moderate match. And we know the drill with that one. Carone double flamer. Let's check out the game instead here. Now, a lot of, um, a lot of bruising going on here. Leon's groupings are not looking good. Or the Thor's groupies, sorry. Looks like Chicken Moth have them approximately where they want, however. Fancy Cup of Tea getting some good hits in on the SMGS. Leon's groupies struggling to come back from that. Seeing all those hit marks going on them there. We'll go over and check out. They're on the ground. They're against carronades. They're not having a good time. SMGS valiantly trying to block for their ally. Taking some of those shots. But we'll see. Will it be enough? Flamers seem to be penetrating. We see some Banshees coming in. 
However, they're getting a lot of damage on the red team as well. But it wasn't enough. Now the red team is charging. And like I said earlier, uh, timer is incorrect. Game will end at five minutes remaining on the timer. And there we go, SMGS goes down. And that means that we see the red team in the lead, Chicken Moth and Fantic of a T, the two spires with the carronades, taking a two point lead at the beginning of the game. No blue spawns yet. We'll probably see them soon. Now, the blue team have spawned in. Don't know if they know that red team is headed in. And we don't know. Does red team know the blue team just spawned in? They are going to be meeting here imminently. So it's going to be interesting to see. There we go, Karen H shots goes out. Those groupies, no balloon left. Lots of hits, hull breaks going out both ways. Chicken moth, no balloon, no hull. SMGS taking a pure beating here. We'll see if they can come back from that. They're in a rough position right now. Those group is coming in and getting the Watcher, but that wasn't enough to stop the onslaught. Now they're alone against the two spies, and it looks like we'll be headed to a 4-0. They did get the, uh, the pop on the Fancy Cup of Tea. That bought them some time. I don't see the balloon living that much longer, but they are headed out. There we go, balloon pop. However, they are on their way. No blue spawn yet. Pull break, here comes the damage. Those banshees are ruthless. And down they go. So that's 4 0 for Chicken Moth and Fancy Cup of Tea. And we'll see. That was a ruthless interception of spawning. And we'll see if they can replicate that. Oh! And they're in the middle of the. <laughs> The blue team spawn. Fancy cup of tea. Will they notice? Surely now they see. Balloon's gone. I'll watch your heads. However, engines remain. Nasty ram. And there we go. They're laying on the damage. Seems like they might grab a kill here. We need some explosive damage though. A ram would also suffice. We'll see. No! The hole takes it. Chicken moth on the ground. Thor's group is not looking too hot either. Fancy cup of tea not looking much better. This is just chaos in its purest form at the moment. Spires go down. Fancy cup of tea holding strong. However, most guns are gone as we can see. One gun remaining. 
And it's not the heavy one. There we go, guns are online again. They're trying to get all the perma they can off of the Thor's groupies. Oh, unfortunate bump on top of the um, bridge there. Now, it seems they've done what they can, and down they go. 4 2. So we'll see. Will Leon's groupies and uh, SMGS be able to make the comeback? Chicken Moth already spawned in. Did take a while for the Fancy Cup of Tea to die. We'll go over. It seems like they're just standing by over here waiting for their ally to spawn in. They've got quite a bit of the map as coverage. Fancy Cup of Tea spawned in as well. Now, blue team seemingly going around the map clockwise here. And red team going counterclockwise. So maybe we'll have a meeting soon. Chicken Moth! Not turning around. All right. Otherwise, Fancy Cup of Tea might have been in trouble there. We will see. They're bound to meet very soon. There we go. The Thor's group is going in hard on the Spire. Oh, but they get all broken and they break on their own Ram Impact. Unfortunate for the Thor's group is there. Alright, so, another match starting in a bit, so I'll get to making sure that everything's looking good until then. Alright, and I'm starting the timer once again. And we'll see. This could very well be our final match uh, for my stream before we decide who's moving on to the finals.
So right now, I'm looking at the schools. So we've got Chicken Moth in the lead. 10 points for them. Thor's Groupies, third right now. Got, they got seven points. Fancy Cup of Tea, eight points, putting them in the second place. And SMGS trailing behind with five points. So, looking over the ships here, we haven't been seeing too many swaps. We see SMGS still running with the same goldfish. Carone, double flamer. Chicken moth. Uh, showing off their magnate that they've been showing off in every lobby. <laughs> but not been playing once. We've got the Thor's groupies sitting on that pyramidion. Uh, the carrot that we've seen earlier. Flame of Flack on the side, and Fancy Cup of Tea showing off a Mobula at the moment. Uh, be interesting to see if they're going to stick with that. Oi. Now, we got a bit of pause in the timer here. Seems like SMG has finally received their last member. And so we'll see with the possible points. I don't think they can grab the lead or tie. Since the team in the lead is on their side at the moment. So any point they get for themselves would actually also fall into the hands uh, of their foe. They're in an unfortunate position right now. Where anything they do to further their own course. Now, of course, it isn't decided yet. Thor's groupies can still easily snatch this win if they can grab four points and leave the chicken moths with zero. Fancy Cup of Tea having a bit of an easier mission. They only need three points. Now, we're on the one minute timer instead. Um, the pause is over. Closing in on the ship lock and we'll see SMGS now without lacking a member going for another ship here is a magnate. Looks like some kind of mirror, but with a Watcher and Carronade on either side, then Gatling and Flax. And so the ships are locked. 
we're waiting for the last couple of seconds as they make minor adjustments to the loadout of the crew. And there we go, the teams are readying up. There we go, the last few drum beats before we enter. The loading zone. Fired over Fernfeld. This is where we're headed. To watch the possibly last match in the first bracket here. And we are in. We'll start by checking out the chicken moth. Now actually sporting the magnate we've seen a couple of times before here with the double mercuries on the one side, flak. And the Hawatcha, Gatling, and uh, Mortar. Piloted by Merwin. Then you've got the SMGS, another uh, Magnate. This one, however, with a mirrored Gatling, Flak sides, and then Hawatcha, and uh, Carronade side. Piloted by Setness. Then you've got the Thor's Groupies. It is the Carrot, Side Flamer, Side Flak. Piloted by Autogon, and then we've got the Fancy Cup of Tea, piloted by Daniel. Another Magnate! This one with a... Am I seeing that right? Yeah. Double Artemis side and a Watcher, a lot of Disables. And on the other side, a Lumberjack, Artemis, and Gatling. Alright, so let's see. Do we have any spots? Not yet. But the timer correctly set this time is ticking. And they should have visuals on each other. Very soon here. There you go. Those groupies closing in on the SMGS. Fancy cup of tea, not too far behind. They did get the balloon of the SMGS, getting some fire stacks. Getting some perma, not too much. There goes the chunk. SMGS not looking too good, one engine out. Bombers out, Thor's group is though. Not looking great at all here. They're taking that long range fire from the chicken moth. They're losing the armor. But watch, I'm not quite hitting. It seems like they want to get rid of the Thor's groupies so they can focus on the fancy cup of tea. And they managed to do it. Now hits going out on the Fancy Cup of Tea, but they are keeping a safe distance. They have no armor. There comes the flak. <laughs> it always goes so quickly. And there comes another one. All right, there. That puts Red Team in a solid lead. Makes it look like Chicken Moth might just take this home and move on to the finals. Are uh, the Blues are not out yet. They've still got plenty of time to make a comeback. We'll see. Red team making a move out into the open. Thor's group is spawning right underneath them. With Fancy Cup of Tea spawning a bit away. Do they see the Thor's groupies? They do. They're spotted.
Don't know if blue team intended the this or if it's just an awkward split. Now fancy cup of tea getting some of that lumberjack on the chicken moth. SMGS getting some fire on the Thor's groupies though. We'll see if they can keep them down with all those Artemis. Total of three Artemis on the blue team, along with Unwatcher. That's a lot of disables. We'll see Chicken Moth making a move for the Fancy Cup of Tea. Meanwhile, Thor's group is moving in on the SMGS. Barely know where to be looking right now. There's a lot of action happening. We'll see if the Thor's groupies can keep up this advantage they've got on the SMGS at the moment. There's a lot of flames on that ship. Bit of a bump there for the SMGS. The armor's gone again. Can they get in the explosive? They do with the Artemis. Good shots landing the blue team. One point. Fancy Cup of Tea looking to have the upper hand against the Chicken Moth. And with all Scroopies coming in, they're kind of cementing that. We'll see. Oh! Big Ram from the Thor Scroopies. Knocking out the balloon. There goes the armor. They do not let up with that Gatling fire. Chicken Moth still not throwing in the towel, however, trying to cover from both of these ships is going to be really hard. And there we go, down they go. All right, so 2-2. Two, two. Now, honestly, that could go either way. Now, red team has spawned in. In the south, th southeast corner of the map here. Now, it seems both teams are rotating around the map clockwise. We might have a bit of calm here before the storm. Right, the spots are out. We'll see. Both teams do have the long-range capabilities. The more direct damage of the red team and the higher disabling power of the blue team. We are, however, moving fast into the brawler range. There we go. The Mercuries are out. They are firing the flax. This could go south for the Fancy Cup of Tea really quickly. They're making clever use of that cover and taking advantage of the poor arcs of the Mercury field guns. But then Chicken Moth just says, well, we'll kill your friend then. Now, 
Uh, Thoughts Group is also taking cover. Fancy Cover T moving in on the SMGS. We'll see if the Thoughts Group is, can keep up here. I need to pass a bit of a bump here. Now, Fancy Cover T out of a balloon. Almost out of armor. And without very much perma left. And there we go, down they go. Those groupies now alone. Now, looks like those groupies might actually be able to get away from this engagement. Now, important to note here is that Chicken Moth only needs one more point to be able to cement themselves into the finals, so stakes are incredibly high at the moment. Now, Fancy Cup of Tea getting some of that Lumberjack damage on the SMGS. SMGS, however, moving in. When the flax are raining in, meaning that Fancy Cup of Tea needs to be really careful to keep their armor up. Those groupies is making an approach from the other side. However, they're well within the arcs of the Chicken Moth, but it seems like that's their target. They're moving up, trying to get into their effective damage range. Chicken Moth switching to the Brawler side. They do have an Watch on that side. Along with a Gatling and a Mortar. Can be incredibly deadly. And you see the Thor's groupies just losing all of their components at once there. Great Watcher from wherever shot that. SMGS losing armor. Taking some damage from the Fancy Cup of Tea. Fancy Cup of Tea, of course, sporting a lot of uh, Artemis, giving them quite strong dueling power. And that they can shoot out the guns of their opponents, slowly whittling them down. However, sheer power of that flak might be really scary if they do lose the armor. And that's what we're seeing now with them moving in. There we go, that's one hit. That's a massive hit. And in comes the Watcher. And down they go, all right. Four points for the red team. Those groupies looking a bit lonely. They're getting the flame in on the chicken moth. Making sure they can't really follow. There's one, two engines gone on the chicken moth. And the balloon gone. Three minutes left on the timer. But a lot of damage raining down on the Thor's groupies. Very unsure if they're going to be able to stick through this. Oh. They are trying. But they are running out of options when it comes to where to go here. Oh. They're just narrowly making through. Start heading upwards. They are very low in Burma. Fancy Cup of Tea laying down the fire on the SMGS. Chicken Moth keeping up the fire on the Thor's groupies. They really want to get they ki that kill. They know how low they are. They know that just a little bit of fire can bring that chip down. And there you go. Red team takes it home.
All right. So, with that, it concludes it. Leaving uh, Chicken Moth at 15 points, making sure that they're going to be the ones going to the finals. So Chicken Moth pulling home the full 15 points that were available. So, with that, uh, my part of this journey is over. Now, if you want to follow the um, the event, it's going to continue on, I think. Uh, Sprinkler Stream, which I unfortunately do not have a link to. I'll try and grab it. 